Officer Dan back with another how-to. This time we're going to be tackling the GK Tech rear drop knuckles, so let's get started. So what's in the big black box? Let's go ahead and unpack. Here you have your knuckles, weird, and this bag of hardware, which includes the caliper bolts going right here for the hydro and right here for the foot brake. The next up are the hub bolts in these four holes. And finally, the lower shock mount washers, which go here. Now, let's toss them on. We will be installing these with the drum handbrake setup found in the Z32 or Skyline knuckles. So if you don't have either, disregard any references. As with most of our how-to videos, start by taking off your wheel and your hub-centric ring, then remove the caliper itself via two bolts at the rear of the knuckle. Now, if you need to remove the dust boot to back off the drum handbrake so the disc doesn't get stuck, go ahead and do that now. Then remove the disc itself. Now unbolt the camber arm, then the traction arm, then go ahead and unbolt the toe arm from the back. Next, remove the split pin by squeezing it together and pulling it out, then remove the cage. Then the drive shaft nut and washer. Make sure that it's not seized in the hub. This will make your life easier later on. Remove the handbrake cable from the shoe, then the spring from the backing plate. Then loosen the nut on the backing plate that holds it in place, pop it through the hole, and remove the coilover bolt and washer. Slide the coil over off the knuckle. Now remove the ball joint nut. If your drive shaft is removed, give it a few love taps and it'll come right on off. If your drive shaft is still installed, you can loosen the ball joint nut and pry with all your might to pop or loose, just like that. Now remove the drive shaft from the hub assembly, slide it to the side, and remove the entire hub. Get it onto a bench and flip it over. Now remove the four hub bolts and put them aside. Then remove the handbrake pivot pin nut and washer. And remove the assembly from the rear wheel bearing hub. Get it out of your way. Separate the backing plate from the knuckle. And now about the backing plates. The OEM is on the right and our modified version is here on the left. You can cut it to shape or drill out the spot welds to make it nice and clean so the brakes fit properly. Now let's fit the knuckle to your trimmed backing plate. Go ahead and flip it over, then fit the hub back into the knuckle. Now flip it over again and go ahead and install the four hub bolts into place, finger tight. Now go ahead and install the handbrake pivot pin bolt into its respective hole. Then the supplied handbrake pivot pin spacer over the pin. Then the OEM washer and nut. Now zap down the hub bolts in the pattern shown on the screen. Then tighten the handbrake pivot pin nut and the handbrake pivot pin bolt. Now that our thing is tight, let's torque the four hub bolts down the opposite of what you did before to the specs shown on the screen. Now torque the pivot pin nut and the pivot pin bolt to these specs. Now flip it back over and admire your handiwork. Let's go ahead and toss it back on the car. Slide that puppy onto the drive shaft and if you're using GK Tech rear lower control arms, slip the spacer onto the ball joint shank, then pop it into the knuckle and toss on the nut and washer. Now tighten those up so that the shank seats properly from the top. Now tighten the bottom, then torque to the specs shown here. Now install the coilover washer and nut to these specs, as you don't want to lose your shiny new knuckles, do you? Install the handbrake cable through the hole, as the knuckles allow that, hot damn, and thread the nut on and tighten. Install the cable spring to the backing plate, then the cable into the shoe itself. Now install the camber arm, bolt, and nut, and torque to these specs. Now, before we go any further, let's talk traction arms, shall we? For the S13 and R32, we recommend 218 millimeters or 8.58 inches. And for the S14-15 or R33 and R34, we recommend 203 millimeters or 7.99 inches. Keep in mind that these are our best recommended lengths. Yours may vary, and you can adjust to what you need. Go ahead and install the traction arm, bolt and nut, then torque to these specs. Then the toe arm, bolt and nut, and torque to these specs. Now install the big old drive shaft washer and nut and tighten, then torque to these specs shown. Install your brake rotor, then hub centric ring. Now install the cage, then split pin, giving it a tap down, then bending each of the arms on either side so that the nut doesn't go anywhere. The foot brake caliper goes here, the hydraulic e-brake caliper goes here. Now install your caliper bolts and torque them down to spec. Go ahead and put your wheel back on once that's done and torque those to spec as well. You will 100% need to go get an alignment now, so make sure to get that done. Officer Dan Outskies.
Go ahead and check us out on the web here at these two links, and we'll catch you on the flip side.